Since her husband has been in office, Melania Trump has been the subject of intense media coverage when it comes to her clothes. Her modeling past was evident, as she always wore her outfits well. However, her expensive taste and focus on looking good may have appeared insensitive to some. So, what outfits have pushed the envelope and what fashion options Trump should have thought twice on? Wonder no more. Here are the dirt on Melania, Trump's most controversial fashion moments. This suit was more controversial for Ralph Lauren than for Flotus. The anticipation surrounding Melania Trump's inaugural attire in January 2017 reached a fever pitch within the media and fashion circles. Amidst the speculation, her representative made a pivotal announcement to women's wear daily, revealing that the first lady-elect would grace the occasion in an ensemble by the iconic American designer Ralph Lauren, known for transforming American fashion. On the historic day, Melania adorned herself in a stunning pale blue cashmere outfit from Ralph Lauren, eliciting admiration for her elegant appearance. However, the choice stirred controversy online, with numerous social media users advocating for a boycott of the label. Despite the backlash, Ralph Lauren's decision to dress Melania was consistent with their nonpartisan approach to fashion, having previously outfitted prominent political figures like Hillary Clinton, Betty Ford, and Nancy Reagan. Interestingly, Clinton herself donned Ralph Lauren attire at the inauguration, showcasing the brand's bipartisan appeal, while Ralph Lauren, the individual, refrains from making overt political statements. The Fashion House released a statement emphasizing their commitment to upholding American-style traditions during significant national events like the presidential inauguration. This dedication to crafting iconic American designs for such moments underscores Ralph Lauren's enduring influence in the world of fashion and its ability to transcend political divides. Melania Trump and that pussy bow blouse Melania Trump's foray into controversial fashion moments began at the second presidential debate in October 2016, amidst the fallout from her husband Donald Trump's leaked grab him by the pate tape. In a move that raised eyebrows and ignited social media frenzy, Melania donned a future Gucci top with a high neckline, commonly referred to as a pussy bow blouse. The juxtaposition of the blouse's name with the political turmoil of the moment didn't go unnoticed, prompting witty remarks and speculation online. Despite the uproar, a campaign representative clarified that the choice of the blouse's name was coincidental and not intended to make a statement. It's plausible that Melania, then the future first lady, simply found the high-necked pink top aesthetically pleasing without considering its name's implications. However, some observers suggested a more nuanced interpretation, hinting at a feminist undertone to Melania's fashion choice. In a documentary titled Makers, Women Who Make America, it was revealed that the pussy bow blouse held historical significance as one of the earliest garments worn by women in office environments. The bow at the neck symbolized a feminine adaptation of men's wear, signifying a subtle yet powerful assertion of women's presence in professional settings. Melania Trump's bling stole the show in her White House portrait. Melania Trump's White House portrait, unveiled in April 2017, drew attention not only for its timeless elegance, but also for the striking jewelry adorning her hand. Opting for a classic black ensemble, Melania exuded sophistication with loose waves and subtle makeup, a departure from her usual glamorous aesthetic. However, it was her eye-catching accessory that stole the spotlight. A dazzling 25-carat diamond ring, a gift from her husband Donald Trump to commemorate their 10th anniversary in 2014. The presence of such opulent jewelry in the official portrait sparked debate and commentary across social media platforms. Some observers questioned the appropriateness of prominently featuring such a lavish accessory in a portrait intended to represent the First Lady of the United States. Criticism ranged from accusations of flaunting wealth to suggestions of insensitivity towards the broader populace. Amidst the mixed reactions, others acknowledged the portrait's aesthetic appeal while acknowledging the ring's significance as a conversation starter.
Despite differing opinions, Melania's portrait undeniably captured attention and fueled discussions about the intersection of wealth, power, and public perception in political imagery. Melania Trump's monochromatic pantsuits may be contrarian. In January 2018, Melania Trump made a sartorial statement at the State of the Union Address, just days after allegations surfaced regarding hush money paid to Stormy Daniels by the POTUS. Opting for a pristine white pantsuit, Melania's choice drew comparisons to the attire worn by female Democrats at Donald Trump's first congressional address in 2017. On that occasion, the Democratic women donned white as a symbol of solidarity with the suffragette and women's rights movements, aiming to highlight the progress women had made and advocate for their continued advancement. However, the landscape was different in 2018, with Democratic women opting for black attire in support of the Time's Up and Me Too movements. Against this backdrop, Melania's ivory ensemble stood out prominently amidst the Sea of Ebony. This stark contrast amplified the attention on her outfit, especially considering her choice in 2017 to wear a sequined black Michael Kors suit with a hefty price tag of $10,000 while the Democratic women were clad in white. While Melania's fashion choices may have been interpreted as deliberate statements, her motives remain open to interpretation. Did the First Lady channel Marie Antoinette while discussing world hunger? Melania Trump's choice of attire often drew scrutiny, especially when it seemed at odds with the message she was delivering. This was evident during her speech to the United Nations in 2017, where she addressed issues of cyberbullying and child hunger while clad in a hot pink dress with balloon sleeves from the designer label Del Pozo, with an estimated cost of $2,250. In her speech, Trump emphasized the importance of addressing issues like child hunger and cyberbullying, stating, No child should ever feel hungry, stalked, frightened, terrorized, bullied, isolated, or afraid, with nowhere to turn. She stressed the need to teach children empathy and communication, values that are fundamental to kindness, mindfulness, integrity, and leadership. However, the contrast between her message and her high-end designer outfit didn't go unnoticed by many observers, particularly on social media. Some critics pointed out the potential disconnect between advocating for empathy and addressing child hunger while wearing expensive designer clothing. The choice of attire led to accusations of hypocrisy and drew comparisons to the infamous quote, let them eat cake reflecting a perception of detachment from the realities faced by those affected by poverty and hardship. Flotus spends big bucks on controversial fashion designers. In May 2017, Melania Trump made a diplomatic statement by donning a stunning floral coat designed by Dolce & Gabbana during a visit to Italy. The coat was a tribute to the host country, but it stirred controversy due to its hefty price tag of over $50,000. Stefano Gabbana, one half of the design duo, proudly showcased the first lady's attire on Instagram, sparking both admiration and criticism. This incident wasn't the first time Melania faced backlash for wearing Dolce and Gabbana. The fashion house has been embroiled in its own controversies, including an ad that drew accusations of cultural insensitivity towards Chinese people in November 2018. This controversy followed previous incidents, where the brand faced criticism for selling racially insensitive items like Blackamoor earrings and slave sandals. Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana have also courted controversy with their remarks, including shaming body positivity activists, criticizing parents who use in vitro fertilization, insulting Selena Gomez, and opposing adoption by LGBTQ couples. The jacket seen round the world had everyone up in arms. In June 2018, Melania Trump's choice of attire during a visit to McAllen, Texas, stirred up controversy and sparked widespread criticism. As she embarked on a trip to meet individuals affected by President Donald Trump's family separation policy, the First Lady donned an army green jacket from the fast fashion brand Zara.
Emblazoned on the back of the jacket in bold white letters were the words, I really don't care, do you? This unexpected fashion statement quickly became the focal point of media attention and public discourse. The jacket's seemingly callous message, juxtaposed with the solemnity of the visit, ignited a firestorm of criticism directed at Melania Trump. The timing and context of her wardrobe choice amidst a humanitarian crisis and a politically charged atmosphere amplified the controversy surrounding her attire. Many interpreted the message on the jacket as insensitive and inappropriate, given the gravity of the situation and the significance of her role as the First Lady. In response to the backlash, Melania Trump's spokesperson, Stephanie Grisham, intervened to address the controversy. Grisham sought to downplay the significance of the jacket, emphasizing that there was no hidden message behind its inscription. However, the attempt to dismiss the uproar did little to quell the public's scrutiny and skepticism regarding the First Lady's fashion statement. Despite Grisham's efforts to refocus attention on Melania Trump's humanitarian efforts during the visit, the controversy surrounding the jacket persisted. Melania Trump wore heels to visit hurricane-damaged areas. In August 2017, Melania Trump accompanied President Donald Trump on a visit to Houston, Texas, in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. While the president opted for practical attire suited for the occasion, including khakis and a windbreaker, the first lady's choice of outfit raised eyebrows. Melania emerged from Air Force One wearing a jacket, aviator sunglasses, black pants, and notably, stiletto heels. Given the devastation caused by Hurricane Harvey, with areas inundated by nearly 30 inches of rain and numerous lives lost, Melania's high-heeled attire sparked immediate criticism and backlash on social media. Many Twitter users expressed astonishment and disapproval at the sight of the First Lady traversing sites ravaged by the hurricane in stilettos, viewing it as a tone-deaf and insensitive fashion choice. The juxtaposition of Melania's glamorous footwear with the grim reality of the disaster zone struck a chord with observers, prompting widespread condemnation of her wardrobe selection. Despite the backlash, Melania Trump's fashion faux pas persisted throughout the visit. Although she was later photographed wearing sneakers, her return to heels at subsequent post-hurricane sites reignited the controversy surrounding her attire. In defense of Melania's fashion choices, designer Manolo Blahnik, who crafted the stilettos worn by the First Lady, came to her aid. He offered a perspective suggesting that Melania's decision may have been practical rather than insensitive, speculating that she may have simply worn the shoes she had on hand when departing New York. The First Lady's gardening gear costs more than a used car. When most people engage in gardening, they typically opt for old, worn-out clothes that they don't mind getting dirty, ripped, or ruined in the process. Melania Trump, however, seems to have taken a different approach. Following her previous fashion blunders, such as wearing heels to hurricane-affected areas, the First Lady surprised many by donning a surprisingly clean ensemble during a visit to the White House Kitchen Garden for a Boys and Girls Club event in September 2017. Instead of the typical attire one might expect for gardening, Melania opted for a pair of Converse sneakers and jeans, which seemed fitting for the occasion. However, what caught people's attention was her choice of a plaid shirt from Balmain, a luxury fashion brand, with a hefty price tag of $1,180. While this shirt might have been relatively cheaper compared to some of her other outfits, it still raised eyebrows given the casual nature of the event. In Melania's defense, this outfit could have been considered more practical than some of her previous high-end pantsuits. Nonetheless, the sight of the first lady wearing designer plaid while engaging in gardening activities prompted humorous commentary from observers. Chrissy Teigen, for instance, humorously remarked on Twitter about Melania's pristine sneakers, drawing a comparison to her own workout shoes and joking about the disparity between Melania's gardening attire and her actual gardening habits. This Melania Trump fashion moment invoked Out of Africa in Africa, 
When Melania Trump embarked on her trip to Africa in October 2018, her choice of attire sparked controversy and accusations of cultural insensitivity. During a safari excursion in Kenya, Flotus was photographed wearing a white pith helmet, a headgear that carries significant historical connotations. The Guardian noted that pith helmets were once emblematic of colonialism and imperialism, often worn by European explorers and imperialists in the 19th century. Over time, these helmets became associated with military attire, further accentuating their symbolism of oppression in regions like Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. Critics on social media were quick to point out the problematic nature of Melania's fashion choice. One Twitter user expressed discomfort with the helmet, highlighting its association with colonialism and its inappropriate use in Africa. The optics of the outfit were further scrutinized when compared to Meryl Streep's attire in the film Out of Africa, 1985, where Streep's character is depicted as a white savior figure during the colonial era. Additionally, Melania's other fashion selections during the trip also drew attention. Her cream fedora with a black band prompted comparisons to characters like Belloc from Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981, and Hannibal Lecter during his visit to the Bahamas in Silence of the Lambs, 1991. These comparisons underscored the disconnect between Melania's fashion choices and the cultural sensitivity expected when visiting countries with complex colonial histories. Melania Trump channeled royal fashion across the pond. Leading up to the state visit of President Donald and First Lady Melania Trump to the United Kingdom in June 2019, Melania made a stylish statement with her choice of attire. She departed for the UK clad in an adorable Gucci dress adorned with prints of iconic London landmarks, including the renowned Big Ben. Upon her arrival in the UK, Melania seemed to draw inspiration from British royalty, particularly from the fashion sense of the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, and the late Princess Diana. During a lunch engagement with Prince Charles and his wife, Camilla Parker Bowles, Melania Trump opted for a custom white dress paired with a matching hat, accentuated by a navy blue belt and trimmings. Observers noted the striking resemblance of Melania's ensemble to outfits previously worn by both Princess Diana and Meghan Markle. However, Melania's fashion choice also evoked comparisons to Audrey Hepburn's iconic character, Eliza Doolittle, from the film My Fair Lady, 1964. While Melania undoubtedly looked stunning, her outfit once again stirred controversy, as it was another creation by Dolce & Gabbana. The recurring theme of Melania Trump making fashion statements that generate both admiration and criticism reflects an ongoing trend. As aptly described by Omarosa Manigault Newman in her book Unhinged, an insider's account of the Trump White House, Melania's style choices often serve to redirect attention and create diversions, a strategy well known to her husband and the administration. That time, the color nude really looked literal on Flotus. In December 2018, Melania Trump made headlines with a fashion choice that left many scratching their heads. Stepping out in nude leather leggings, Melania's attire initially appeared to give the illusion that she was bare-legged, prompting double-takes from onlookers worldwide. Paired with matching shoes and a stylish green coat, the ensemble sparked comparisons to a chic Central Park flasher. However, upon closer inspection, observers could discern subtle details that revealed the true nature of Melania's leggings. Crinkles in the material and a visible seam running down the length of her legs dispelled the illusion, but the initial confusion lingered. While the outfit may not have been offensive, it certainly left many bewildered, reminiscent of Melania's decision to wear sunglasses at night. Reflecting on Melania's penchant for fashion moments that grab attention, Omarosa Manigal Newman noted in her book, Unhinged, an insider's account of the Trump White House, that Melania, as a fashion-conscious individual, is well aware of the scrutiny her style choices face. In hindsight, 
Perhaps Melania could have anticipated the mixed reactions to her unconventional attire. Was Melania Trump's 9-11 coat insensitive? On the 18th anniversary of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks, a photo from the previous year resurfaced on social media, sparking controversy over Melania Trump's choice of attire. In the image, Melania is seen wearing an A-line navy blue coat with white stitching on the back, custom made by Hervé Pierre. Some observers interpreted the stitching pattern as resembling a tower under attack, leading to accusations of insensitivity. Twitter users were quick to voice their opinions, with one expressing disbelief at the perceived resemblance to a plane flying into a tower or the Washington Monument. However, others were more skeptical of the interpretation, pointing out that the stitching detail was likely just an unfortunate coincidence rather than a deliberate reference to the tragic events of 9-11. Despite differing opinions on the matter, the resurfaced photo once again put Melania's fashion choices under scrutiny, highlighting the level of attention and scrutiny that accompanies her public appearances. Melania Trump raises eyebrows with dress worn to stepdaughter's wedding. Melania Trump found herself embroiled in a debate over wedding etiquette after attending her stepdaughter Tiffany, Trump's wedding wearing a cream gown. The nuptials took place over the weekend at Mar-a-Lago, the Palm Beach estate owned by Tiffany's father, former President Donald Trump. Tiffany, 29, looked stunning in a long-sleeved Eli Saab wedding gown adorned with intricate beading and featuring a ball gown-style skirt, her bridal party including sister Ivanka. Trump, as maid of honor, donned pale blue gowns, with Ivanka's dress being a nod to Grace Kelly's iconic gown from the 1955 film To Catch a Thief. While it's unclear if Tiffany specified a dress code for the wedding, several guests, including Tiffany's mother Marla Maples and sister-in-law Lara Trump, opted for gowns in soft pastel shades. However, Melania's choice of a cream gown with a tan belt sparked controversy, with some criticizing the color similarity to the bride's gown. Social media users were quick to weigh in, with one expressing surprise at Melania's color choice for a wedding, stating it's the bride's day to be the center of attention. Another commenter remarked on the inappropriateness of wearing a dress so close in color to the bride's gown, suggesting that Marla Maples, Tiffany's mother, might not be pleased with the decision. The debate over Melania Trump's attire at Tiffany Trump's wedding continued as social media users discussed the appropriateness of her dress color while also noting Kimberly Guilfoyle's black gown, which Ivanka Trump cropped out of a photo she shared to Instagram. Later, Ivanka posted the unedited version of the photo to her Instagram stories, showing Guilfoyle standing alongside Melania, Tiffany, Maples, and Lara. Some users couldn't help but comment on Melania's choice of attire, likening it to that of an evil stepmother and criticizing her decision to wear what appeared to be a white dress. Leave it to Melania to wear a white dress to a wedding. How utterly tacky, remarked one user. Another highlighted the numerous controversial outfit choices at the wedding, from Kimberly's bat dress to Ivanka's belly dancing costume, and now Melania wearing white. However, amidst the criticism, there were differing opinions on the actual color of Melania's gown. While many suggested it looked white, some argued it appeared to be more of a blush pink or pale pastel shade. Yet one user emphasized the importance of avoiding any attire that resembles white at a wedding, advising against wearing whitish colors as a general rule to avoid upstaging the bride. Wedding etiquette experts also weighed in, emphasizing the importance of guests avoiding predominantly white, cream, or ivory outfits to ensure they don't overshadow the bride. While black attire is generally acceptable, guests should consider factors like the wedding's location and formality when choosing their outfit to ensure appropriateness. Ultimately, guests should be mindful of the bride's spotlight on her special day and choose attire that complements rather than competes with her. She stood out at Rosalind Carter's memorial service.
Melania Trump's choice of attire at Rosalind Carter's memorial service in 2023 sparked some controversy. Joining First Lady Jill Biden and the three other living former First Ladies, Hillary Clinton, Michelle Obama, and Laura Bush, Melania paid her respects to the late wife of ex-president Jimmy Carter. However, some critics found her behavior disrespectful. As the group of presidential spouses entered Glen Memorial United Methodist Church in Atlanta, Melania's outfit stood out conspicuously. While the other women wore black ensembles in keeping with the tradition of mourning, Melania opted for a gray tweed coat that deviated from the expected somber color. In photos capturing the scene inside the church filled with mourners, Melania's lighter-colored outfit was glaringly noticeable. Criticism flooded social media platforms, with many expressing disbelief at her perplexing fashion choice. Some speculated that her decision to wear attention-grabbing attire was calculated. Despite stepping back from public life after Donald Trump's presidency, Melania was accused of seeking an opportunity to return to the spotlight. See how everybody is talking about her? Yep, that's what she wanted, commented one Reddit user. As controversies surrounding Melania Trump's fashion choices continue to captivate public attention, it begs the question, should former first ladies adhere to traditional expectations of attire during solemn occasions, or is there room for personal expression? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. See you next time.